Hello, I'm going to illustrate the principle of work. Work is equal to force multiplied by distance moved by the object. Here I have an object, it's a lead weight, and uh, it has a weight of about 26 pounds, as you can see from the scale reading. If I lift this object, it takes 26 pounds of force to lift it. I can lift that object in an easier manner with less force, but do, by doing the same amount of work, by using this uh, lever. Here I have a board on a fulcrum, and if I put this 26-pound object on the uh, board near the fulcrum, the rubber is on there to keep it from slipping off, and uh, I'm going to lift this object this time, not by lifting it directly, but by pushing down over on this end with a force of only about two pounds. Now this is a one kilogram object, that's the mass. It has a weight of 2.2 pounds, I can call it two pounds. So with two pounds of force, then I'll illustrate how we can lift an object that weighs 26 pounds. So two pounds acting through a relatively large distance is equivalent to 26 pounds moving through a relatively small distance. Again, work is equal to force times distance moved. Another example of that is this uh, hoist here where I have relatively heavy weight and I can lift this heavy weight by lifting directly or I can lift this heavy weight by pulling on this rope. Here I'm going to pull the rope down through a relatively large distance with a small force and lift a large force through a short distance. So small force, large distance is equivalent to large force moving through a short distance. Again, illustrating the principle of work, work is equal to force multiplied by distance moved. 